let me ask with you the following question. Is complexity a science? Is it a possibly useful new way of engineering? Or what is it? The claim I want to make is that it is a new way of thinking necessary for a scientific renaissance that can transform society. This transformation comes from the ability to ask new and proper questions and to address their answers. First, what do I mean by a scientific renaissance? I mean a new scientific culture implying new views and going beyond the role of a specialist or expert in a given subject. We can identify at least two times in history in which this happened. First one, the classical renaissance. And second, at the beginning of last century. Example of this birth of a new scientific culture is given by John von Neumann, which was simultaneously one of the founding fathers of three new disciplines. Quantum mechanics, computer science, game theory and economic theory. First, science. Science is about understanding and about the statements of universal value that physicists call laws. In which sense complexity is a science? There are several examples of this understanding with universal value brought by complexity. Emergence evolving patterns of a flock of birds that emerge from interactions among individual birds. We can even define emergence. We say that the system has emerging properties when an effective theory for the system at some scale or level of organization is qualitatively different from the lower level theory. Multiscale approach. How do we handle many different scales? How do we go from neurons, or below from the genome, to the brain functioning, or above, human behavior? Self-similarity or scale-free? Mandelbrot indicated that he was inspired by this picture of Salvador Dalí in the concept of self-similarity of his fractal theory. I am a physicist, and many people still believe that the more important problems of physics today lie at very small length scales, elementary particles, or at very large scale, limits of the universe. While it is obvious for me that more challenging problems are those embracing all scales, scale-free, as it happens in phase transitions. This understanding and laws have been found across disciplines in the recent book by Geoffrey West, but they are also essential ingredients of the birth of new disciplines as city science, where emergence and multi-scale approaches are cornerstones of the theory. On the other side of the coin, we have engineering, which is not universal, but subject-oriented, and which is essentially about controlling a system, and today, about making use of that. This is a snapshot of online data, and complexity is also about making use of these huge amounts of data to control and to improve systems' performance, and to learn from data for design and prediction. In the dichotomy of understanding versus controlling, it has been said that control is the ultimate level of understanding, and that we really understand the system when we are able to control it. In my view, this is grotesquely wrong, since we cannot control the solar system in spite of our perfect understanding. Even more, in terms of prediction, the Ptolemaic solar system, based on data, was very good in predicting, but poor in scientific understanding. A good example of complexity engineering is traffic control of cities, largely based in use of data, but where proper handling of emergence and multi-scale approaches is essential. Therefore, we have these two sides of a coin. Complexity science 
with the keywords of understanding and universality, and complexity engineering with the keywords of control and data. They coexist in a cooperative and multiplicative interaction in the mind of a complexity scientist, creating this complexity state of mind. When complexity scientists interact among themselves, there is a phenomenon of emergence, and what emerges is what I call the complex systems approach. This complex systems approach is the scientific renaissance which I mentioned at the beginning. A new way of thinking that transforms society by transforming the way of thinking. And this has important consequences. Entitled a new education system in which students of all ages learn the new way to learn about reality. Learning across disciplines, learning from data. Better than a new classification of science, a declassification of science, in which borders among traditional disciplines become meaningless, and also new disciplines appear as a spin-off of the complexity systems approach to specific systems, such as cities. Last but not least, being able to define proper questions. Questions that take into account limits on predictability and control. What we observe is not reality, but what we observe is the response of reality to our way of questioning. Is it proper to ask how to control financial markets to avoid a financial crisis? Many common people would say, yes, of course, but they would simultaneously admit that it is not a proper question how to control nature to avoid the occurrence of a hurricane. It might be that the proper question is how to prepare ourselves or build tools to mitigate the effect of a financial crisis. <music>